The Human Rights Policy and Practice Programme focuses on human rights but in an interdisciplinary way. It focuses on the theory that underpins human rights study, so explains where it comes from um, as well as how we can talk about it, how we can understand it. Looking at legal issues, looking at globalisation, looking at sociology, looking at management, to really bring together the way in which they think about human rights, often from a very different perspective of what they've done before. We also look at practical issues in terms of human rights defence um, in countries all over the world. We also examine human rights protection in the fields of advocacy, campaigning and protest. And we have uh, lecturers here who are experts in sociology of human rights, which is something that's not often seen. It provides great opportunities for the students in terms of not just learning about human rights from a variety of different perspectives, so not just a narrow perspective, but looking at it across the board, but also for engaging with practice. I mean, that's quite central, I think, to this programme, and it's in the title. One of the main aspects of the programme is what we call the mobilities. Students study at three universities, and they follow, in a cohort, with each other, a prescribed route. So they'll start in Sweden, then they go to Spain, then they come to Roehampton, then in the final semester a third of students will go back to one of the universities to study their thesis. The School of Global Studies has a very interesting composition. It consists of a range of fields of studies that have been joined together and these include for instance human ecology, peace and development, research and regional studies. At the University of Deusto we will be teaching two modules. The first module is on research methods and research design skills and the second is on diversity management with a special focus on indigenous rights. On top of that, uh, the department has organized research groups that are more transdisciplinary that cut across these fields of studies and they include for instance resistance studies, gender studies, uh, migration and diversity studies. So they are quite a lively and dynamic research and study environment that the students will meet when they come. The Social Sciences Department at the University of Roehampton offers students the opportunity to engage with scholars who are actively working in the field of human rights with interests ranging from theory to war um, and genocide as well as reconstruction. The students coming here for HRPP will be part of a bigger uh, student community all linked by this passion for global issues uh, and human rights in particular. One fifth of our students are international students, which makes a very good environment for, for other international students coming for uh, Erasmus programmes. It's one of the things that students tell us that the programme is extremely valuable for. They will tell us they love the modules, but at the end of the programme they'll always say they've learnt so much from their fellow students. I was particularly drawn to this program because of its strong international focus, both in terms of how the program is set up, I mean, it's three universities in three different countries, um, but also because of the sort of international student body. I mean, getting the chance to study with people from 14 different countries is a, is a pretty special and different thing, and I think it adds a lot to how we study human rights here. There are lots of things for students to love about coming to London. The first really is what students can do outside of the university. Um, and for many human rights students, that's engaging with major NGOs and INGOs. Gothenburg is a really lovely city, easy to get around. You're three, three and a half hours from any of the Scandinavian capitals. There's good nature and hiking. Um, it's a really great city. They love many things about the city of Bilbao. It's a very human-sized city. and It's very relaxed and you can walk everywhere. The students love that, but of course the students love London for its culture, its arts, its nightlife, everything is here. And there are also numerous lectures that students can attend if they have a specific area of interest. And London is a hub for learning inside and outside of the university. In Gothenburg we do a study trip to Stockholm to meet with people from various sort of Swedish agencies and organizations working with issues of human rights. Um, so it's a good opportunity within the program to sort of meet with different people and organizations and kind of understand what it means to be a human rights professional. The experience they get on the program, they take back into a variety of roles. They might go into politics, they might go into law, they might go into teaching, they might go into journalism, or they might go into campaigning, or they might go into something altogether quite different. I have one friend who's working for Amnesty International at their at their London office, um, another friend who's working for the ILO in Geneva, a friend here in Gothenburg who's working for a municipality helping coordinate their refugee reception. We have people who go into government departments as policy advisors. 
we have people who um, will re return to activism outside of the jobs they do. But what they do do is they go home or they, they, they go out into the world equipped with this passion and all these skills and this awareness of, of the human rights situation. So I think they make a difference in all sorts of ways. This is a wonderful way to enrich a global perspective on human rights policy, practice and protection.